I'm author Amy Shannon, and this is Storytelling with Amy Shannon. Usually I will read and explain about a story that I've already written or already has been published, but um, today I've decided to tell a story in the memory of my cousin, Tanya. Tanya and I were only a few years apart in age, and um, she was a little bit older, but um, only by like two years. Um, when we were really little, we used to uh, play together uh, along with her, her sister. Um, and then, you know, life got in the way. Um, we didn't see each other for years and years. And um, one year I decided to, um, I was in the middle of having problems in my first marriage, and I decided I needed some more education. So I went to a local technical school. Um, it's a business technical school, and that doesn't even exist anymore. But um, I went there for nine months and was trying to at least gain some skills. Um, I went for a medical secretarial um, diploma, and um, Tanya was there for accounting. Um, when I saw Tanya, um, we had just seen each other, you know, in the break room, and it was very rare for us to have classes that overlapped. And then one time, um, my class and her class had to share um, the computer lab. Um, and this is way back in the early 90s. So the computers um, didn't have mice. They um, just had disks and you know keyboards. And you had to type in all your commands. And you had to pull one disk out and put another one in if you wanted to save it. So hey, actually, I'm getting a little off point there. but. So yeah, it's the early 90s, and I, um, at the time, since I was uh, married to my first husband, David, we, um, I had his last name, so my name was Amy Good, and I was putting my name, you know, typing in my name, and Tanya happened to walk by, and she kind of giggled a little and asked me about my name, and she said that it's, um, you know, she bet that I got a lot of comments about my name, you know, people making jokes, thinking they're the first one, like, how are you? If you say, I'm good, they're, they'd laugh. But anyways, um, I mentioned to her, I'm like, well, it's better than having, you know, people always call me by my last name because my la I technically my last name is Shannon, so some people have that as a first name. And it's, even now it happens, you know, people call me Shannon by mistake. And, you know, just call me Amy. <laughs> Not ma'am, madam, or whatever, just, just Amy is perfectly fine. Um, Mrs. Shannon was my mother. <laughs> uh, but anyways, back to um, when I told Tanya that, you know, my last name was Shannon. And she said, that's my last name. And I looked at her and it took me a minute. And she's like, my dad is Brian. And I'm like, well, my dad is Dennis. And at that moment, we realized that somehow, after so many years, that we were cousins. And, you know, we, we had already um, like started just, you know, being a little bit of our friends, you know, talk in the break room and stuff like that. But it was really special. Um, once we, you know, found out that we were cousins, you know, we, we shared, um, you know, stories about my grandmother, um, my grand, Grandma Shannon. She's still around 99 years old. But um, Tanya and I would sometimes invite Grandma out to lunch, and we would both go out with her, um, you know, years ago. Um, and it was nice. We, you know, kind of rebuilt a relationship. Um, my oldest son was two at the time, and her um, daughter was a little bit older than my son, and they would play together. Um, and then, you know, as we both graduated, we kind of like, drifted a little bit. But, you know, when they invented Facebook, and um, we were able to reconnect through social media, and you know, we would share information about, you know, grandma and stuff like that. And she would call grandma more than she would, would be able to see her. Um, and then a few years ago, um, I was at my grandmother's house and 
um, Tanya had called, so Graham was talking to Tanya on the phone, and Tanya said, told her that she was really sick and she was in the hospital. Um, so after she talked to Grandma, Grandma passed the phone to me and I was able to talk to her. And I told her that I, I thought, I hoped that she would feel better um, and get well. And um, I told her I loved her and she said that she loved me too. Um, and that was the last time I, I talked to her. Um, the day after that phone conversation or so, um, Grandma had gone to see her in the hospital. And um, the next morning, um, Tanya passed away. Um, she had scleroderma that affected her pulmonary um, system and she passed away. She was uh, 46. Um, she was a very kind and caring person. She um, was a proud mother, proud grandma, um, and I'll never forget her. I mean, you know, you, you don't always get along with your family, and so it's not like I have to like her, I just do, because she just has that personality. So that was um, a hard loss for me and a hard loss for Grandma. Um, you know, as you get older, you expect people to pass away. You know that people will, but you know, when they're, they're young, you hope that it doesn't happen. Um, I thought I would share my story about Tanya. Um, and dedicate this storytelling to her. Um, I may, in the future, tell some more stories about family life. One of the things that I like to do is, I love history, and I really love family history, so whatever I can learn on, um, about my family history, um, I love listening to stories, and then I love sharing those stories with others. So. I hope you continue watching or listening to me, and um, till next time.